Hello and welcome to this new lesson. Today, I'll show you how to add the rest of the components to your BCB view. <coughs> Sorry. So now let's start by uh, going to design, then update schematic. Okay. After that, design, update schematic again. You can view if there is anything that's changed. But since we have no errors, we can proceed. And now, make sure headers is arranged well in BCB, or otherwise you can rotate it. Let's start by adding ICSB. So let's look for the ICSB header. As you can see, this is the header. Let's start by clicking, <coughs> clicking that header and dragging it close to the board and we want to add the micro USB header so in this case this is it this is the micro USB header and we want the crystal which is this item and we want to add the resistor array so let's take a quick look and search for the resistor array. That's it. This is our resistor array. And the last element will be our reset switch. So let's take a quick look to see its name here. S15. So it should be S15 here. Okay. This is our reset switch. Now let's add these items depending on how they actually look in a real world footage. As you can see, here we have the socket and here we have the micro USB. So let's move this closer to here. Let's drag the micro USB, press the space bar. And as you can see here, we can place it here. Next thing is dragging this header. And adding it here. Now if we went back to this area, we can see that here we have the crystal. And uh, let's see in this view. Here we have the push button. And the crystal and the four resistor array. So let's add the crystal. We can zoom in. Double click on this and choose 45 degree. Then we can simply add it here. After this, we can drag the last item, which is the resistor array and the switch okay this is the resistor array we can rotate it if we wish but i prefer leaving it here now regarding the switch from what you can see here this is a very large switch so it won't really work for us we have to return the design area and see this switch footprint as you can see it's a very large switch we want a smaller one so we can remove this switch from libraries switches let's choose this one and let's drag it here uh, let's name it okay let's remove this one uh, this one instead Double click, hide the name, let's name it S15 or even S20. Okay, S16. Let's zoom in. Sometimes you have to do this, otherwise, it won't work for you in the PCB design. After that, you can compile the PCB project. 
check if you have any errors here we have the same error which is duplicated bin go here double click on this item and as we mentioned earlier go to the bin edit them and change this the second one with two and two click ok ok then compile again now you don't have any errors after that we can update our bcb document um, and automatically create the links as you can see let's execute changes then press close this is our new switch which is a way much smaller than the previous one so let's carry it rotate let's add it here for now next we will add the rest of these items but we don't want to make this lesson any longer uh, thanks for watching if you have any question regarding arranging the items please ask in the q and the board i suggest suggest that you follow this schematic and arranging items to minimize the number of errors when auto routing anyway thanks for watching this is educational engineering team